here is a Magnavox console phonograph. And this is really the Cadillac model of the Magnavoxes. This is from 1958. It's stereophonic and bi-amplified. It's got separate output tubes and transformers for the bass and the treble. It introduces some of the control layouts that are common on the Astrosonic Magnavoxes that were later. It's got the timbre control for the high treble frequencies and it's got bass and treble switches. It's got a tuning eye up there. Treble, loudness, and tuning. And this dial layout is, if you've ever seen the movie That Thing You Do, when, uh, when the Wonders song gets played on the radio, there's a Magnavox with a dial layout a lot like this in the appliance store. But I think that one had the uh, tuner down inside of a, a cabinet where you, where you slid a lid to get to it. Here's a nice feature. This is a Telecron timer, and you can select the duration that it stays on and the time at which it starts. So if you want to tape record your favorite radio program, plug a tape recorder into the auxiliary outlet and the set will switch on automatically. And this is a Magnavox installed feature. It's not, it's not an aftermarket accessory. The cabinet is just in beautiful shape. It's lived in an air-conditioned house, I'm sure, all its life. This was found in one of the more posh parts of Midland. And that house was really fancy. I thought, well, they're just going to be glassware and stuff like that and there. there might not be any equipment. But lo and behold, there was this Magnavox console. Here is the Calero changer in just beautiful condition. Everything is, is just really shiny. This mat is perfectly clean. And here's the Magnavox decal even has the 45 spindle. Here's inside the cabinet. This actually is a stereo unit, so you need to hook up another cabinet for stereo reproduction. It's got a 15 inch woofer, and that looks like a field coil woofer, but it's actually not. It's actually a permanent magnet. There's no field supply in here. And two huge Magnavox horn tweeters. In this house, they also had it hooked up through a stereo system that ran throughout the house, so there's some level controls here for auxiliary speakers. Here's the inside of the tuner compartment. And here's the tube layout for the tuner. It's got both AM and FM RF amplifier stages. I think somewhere in here it's got the model number. Let's check out the model details. Model is 1 SR 286H, 210 watts, made in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I removed the amplifier out of this so I can carry it up the steps easier, and I'm going to need to replace all the caps in it. So I've got that over on the couch. I'll take a look at that next. Here's the amplifier. This is very similar to the high power monaural Magnavox amplifier, only it's been modified slightly for stereo. Inside this box are two interstage transformers to couple input from the preamp. Here's four 6V6 output tubes. In the monaural model, all four tubes connect to one output transformer for the base channel. Here in the stereo model, each base output has two tubes per output transformer. The monaural base transformer is huge. These ones are not quite so big. And then here are the treble output tubes, single-ended, 6V6. The output transformers are under the chassis. These controls vary the relative level of the base and treble outputs. It's got two 5U4 rectifier tubes plus a filter choke. Really a high performance, high end unit. Came with the instruction manual pamphlets. 
And here is the amplifier before repairs. Here are the treble output transformers for each channel. It's got ceramic cased paper capacitors, which I'm going to replace. And a few of these nasty old things, these Black Beauty paper capacitors. And I'll put a fuse in the power line too. But as usual, I'm not even going to try this before I replace all the caps. I don't want any chance of a failure, and they're going to have to be replaced anyway. It's just one electrolytic up here, and then another electrolytic down here in the output stage for the treble output. I think I might try to take this home so I have a, a good working Magnavox at home. I've got some other Magnavoxes at home, but they haven't uh, haven't been restored yet. So soon, I'll have a video of the restored Magnavox unit.